The road to the 2024 FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup reaches a critical juncture as Zambia and Morocco prepare to face off in the third round, first leg of the African Qualification Series. This highly anticipated match will see two of the continent's emerging football nations battle for a coveted spot in the prestigious tournament. Zambia has shown remarkable progress in women's football in recent years. The young Copper Queens have displayed resilience and skill, coming through the earlier rounds with convincing performances. Their attacking prowess, led by a mix of talented forwards and creative midfielders, has been a highlight. Zambia will rely on their home advantage and the passionate support of their fans to secure a strong result in the first leg. On the other hand, Morocco's youth setup has been steadily improving, and the under-17 women's team is a testament to this growth. The Atlas Lionesses have been disciplined and strategic in their approach, showcasing solid defensive organization and swift counterattacks. Morocco's preparation for this crucial fixture has been meticulous, with a focus on maintaining composure and capitalizing on set-piece opportunities. Zambia is expected to adopt an attacking approach, leveraging their pace and flair on the wings to stretch Morocco's defense. The Copper Queens will aim to press high and control the tempo of the game, seeking an early lead to put pressure on their opponents. Morocco, on the other hand, will likely prioritize a compact defensive structure, aiming to absorb pressure and exploit any gaps left by Zambia's forward thrusts. Their counter-attacking strategy could be decisive, with quick transitions and precise passing needed to catch Zambia off guard. The winner over both legs will secure a place in the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup 2024, a tournament that offers young talents a global stage to showcase their abilities. For both Zambia and Morocco, this qualification campaign is not just about advancing in the competition but also about inspiring future generations and elevating the profile of women's football in their respective countries.